Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Yidi Robot Vac Station. Hopefully I'm saying the name right. If I'm not saying the name right, uh, please correct me. It's spelled Y-E-E-D-I, uh, so I think it's uh, pronounced uh, Yidi. Uh, I went with this vacuum cleaner because it is a vacuum and mop in one. And I know there's a lot of different brands out there that you can use uh, that have that combination, but this vacuum cleaner is one of the most powerful ones on the market. I have a combination of uh, carpet and tile, so I was hoping that this would get the job done. It's currently on sale at Amazon and on the Yeedy website for $499.99, so for $500 uh, you can get a decent uh, vacuum and mop system. The packaging is well done, uh, nice quality packaging, well organized, comes with everything you need to get started, comes with your vacuum bag, your power cord, uh, your mop, and your brushes. As you open it up, you can see there's the actual vac station there. So not only is this a robot vacuum and mop, it also has a bagging system where it automatically empties into your dustbin. This is a picture of the dustbin in the box. Let's go ahead and head over to the Yidi website and let's look at their ad of how they're advertising the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> All right, it's a pretty nice uh, commercial for the Yeedy. Shows some of the features on it. Uh, as you can see, it has an app that you can use to program which room to clean and when with scheduling. Here's a closer picture of the bottom of it. It has bristles and the rolled brush there with some sensors on the bottom of it. There's also a mop pad on the bottom. It doesn't scrub, uh, but it does put some chemical on that mop pad as it goes over the floor. It does do an okay job. If you're looking for something to get stains out, it's probably not going to scrub it to get the stains out. But if you do it, if you mop continuously, then it will uh, keep the floor clean. And here's a picture of the vac system which it auto empties into a dustbin. So after it's done cleaning, it'll come back to the unit and empty your debris into a dust bag, into the vac system. And here's a picture of what the empty station looks like. It has a self-empty station. Like I said, it automatically goes back to the station to empty. Here's a picture of the dust bag, what it looks like. So this is 30 days hands-free cleaning, but I think that's going to determine, be determined based on how often you vacuum and how dusty or dirty your uh, carpet's going to be. If you're just using it on tile or luxury vinyl plank, then 30 days will be plenty fine. Uh, the UD vacuum system also has an app for your phone where you, it, what it'll do is it'll do a self scan around your house. It'll scan your whole house, which will bring up a map. And then from there, you can decide what area you want to clean, when you want to clean it. You can schedule it uh, to do it at a certain time. And it has no go zones in case you don't want to go in a certain area, like going over uh, children's toys or carpet or cords or whatever the case may be. Overall, the vacuum does really well. It's really powerful. That's why I did like the system. I bought it because it is one of the most powerful ones uh, on the market. I have tested this out for about six months now, so I can give you a good honest review of it. Um, as far as the vacuum system, it picks up really well. It does have some problems if you get into uh, some cords. It could get stuck underneath low. If you have very low furniture, like underneath a couch or... Uh, an entertainment system or something like that. But for the most part, it will go under my entertainment system and, and my furniture, no problems at all. It's only if it's, it, it's only if the furniture is only about two and a half inches or three inches off the ground, it tries to go under there. Sometimes it might get a little confused and get stuck. Uh, but once it maps out the system, the more times it goes out and the more time it cleans, the less errors it's gonna have. So expect in the beginning, you're gonna have some errors as far as it getting stuck a few times while it's trying to figure out your house. And the more you run the vacuum cleaner, the better it gets at figuring out where to go, where not to go. Uh, but overall, it's done a very good job for me. I'd say one out of maybe 40 times I run the vacuum cleaner, I'll have to intervene and get it unstuck somewhere.
One more feature I liked about the vacuum cleaner was the 200 minute battery operating range. Uh, 200 minutes is in the top tier for most of these vacuum systems. Uh, I don't know if it quite goes 200 minutes or not. I've never tested that out, but I do know it does go about two hours or so at least. And that's going to be determined based on your settings of your vacuum cleaner of how much power you have. And you can actually set how much power you want. If you want a minimum setting or you want the maximum suction power of the vacuum system. All right, let's go over some of the features that they advertise. They say the vacuum and mop at the same time. It mops and vacuums all in once. You can actually program this just to do vacuuming or you can attach the mop pad and let it mop and vacuum at the same time. However, it will not go from a mop into the vacuuming mode on the carpet. Sometimes it has struggle uh, going over the uh, dividers, that, you know, the little separators that you have from the tile to the carpet. So you do want to watch that. So pretty much what I do is I either send it out to either mop or I send it out to do a vacuum. Uh, you can program it however you like. It has a self-empty station, automatically empties with a dustbin, holds up to 30 days of uh, dirt and debris. Uh, that 30 PA uh, strong suction power sweeps up dirt like a hurricane. That's why I, one of the re main reasons why I bought this vacuum cleaner is it has such a strong uh, suction. Uh, most of the other vacuum cleaners you're going to see are not going to be this powerful. It also automatically determines what type of floor you have. Is it a uh, hard surface or is it uh, soft surface like carpet? And it'll adjust the vacuum accordingly. All right, let's uh, watch the ED vacuum cleaner in action and listen to how loud it is. This was taken on my iPhone on the lowest power setting it has. That sound was on the lowest power setting. As you can tell, it's not very loud. On the tile, the lowest power setting will work just fine. On the carpet, I do run it on the max power setting, but what you heard was the low power setting. It kind of goes around the house. It does its thing. I don't know what projection path it takes. It just kind of does its thing. It does clean everything in the house. It does hit all the flooring, but sometimes you look at it and you're like, I don't have no idea where it's going or why it's doing it in that pattern. But it does hit everything where it needs to go. Uh, the computer decides where it goes with the mapping system. Uh, overall, it's a pretty good vacuum cleaner. I am glad I bought it. It has plenty of suction. It is one of the best suctions out there. It has the 200 minute battery, which uh, I've never had it run out of battery yet. And my downstairs is approximately 2,000 square feet. And it has that mopping system on it. Uh, as far as the mopping system is, it's not a scrubber, so it's not gonna get stains out of the carpet. But if you run the mop system, maybe twice a week or three times a week, just kind of program it to go out. Um, it'll do just fine with keeping your floors nice and clean. This is not gonna replace uh, you actually going on the floor and scrubbing it with a mop, and it's not gonna replace a vacuum cleaner, but it does do a fairly good job. All right, right now I'm in vacuuming and mopping mode at the same time, as you can see there's some dirt on the floor. It picks up the dirt, it's vacuuming right now, and it's mopping at the same time. You can see how much water it's putting out the bottom. So right now I have it in the lower vacuuming mode. So the, the lowest power setting it can go. And it's in the heaviest water. You can also control how much water it puts on the floor. So I have it on the heaviest water system. And basically it just, it just goes, goes through its system back and forth. And it puts water on that mop pad. And it just takes the mop pad and it just goes across the floor like that. So it's not going to scrub anything out. But it does do a really good job. All right, so you heard how loud the self-emptying vacuum system was. It's not really no louder than uh, what a regular vacuum cleaner would be. Uh, it is pretty loud. It's going to kind of scare you the first time it does it because you're not expecting it. Uh, because this thing is uh, so quiet, it runs around. Uh, it doesn't sound like a normal vacuum cleaner. It's really quiet, but when it does go back to the station and it does a self-emptying thing, it sounds pretty loud like a normal vacuum cleaner would. Um, it'll last maybe 10, 15 seconds for its self-emptying mode. So I do apologize how dirty my unit is. I have used this about six months. Uh, let's go through some of the features of it. Uh, up at the top, you press this button right there, and this is where your dust bin is going to be where your dust bag is 
Just simply pull that out and remove that and put a new one in. It's pretty easy to use. Right here, you hit this tab. This is your mopping mode system. It has a blue rubber seal right here. You would fill it up with water and soap. And then you would attach your mopping pad. And it's easy to attach, it just snaps on. Once you snap it on with the water and the soap, you just simply just push it back in there and it automatically registers the mop and it'll be in mopping mode and it'll just start mopping whenever you either have it scheduled to pro or programmed to do the uh, mopping. So we'll put that back on. Uh, sensor up the top right here. That sensor is, in case you go under any furniture, it knows when it's under furniture or under a chair or anything like that. This button here is the, uh, the pause button. Uh, you lift this up. It has your brush here in case you need to clean out the bottom bristles or the brush system or your filter. So here is the actual dust bin that you're going to get with this vacuum cleaner. Pretty easy. It's a little small, but I've never had a problem with it yet. Uh, uh, not having enough room. As you can see, it's pretty dirty. I need to clean it out. But you just simply open that up to empty out any of the debris. And it has a filter system with a pre-filter and a filter in there. Uh, here's your power on and off switch. The setup for this thing when I initially got it, uh, like I said, it was six months ago, but it was a really easy setup. You simply just turn it on. Uh, you follow the instructions in the app, connects to your Wi-Fi system in your house, and it's a really easy setup. If you are interested in this ED vacuum cleaner, I will pr uh, put a link in the description below with where you can buy it on their website or on Amazon. And if you have any questions about the vacuum cleaner, uh, post in the comments below. Thanks.